Hi, uh, today I will talk about the headache. Headache. Of course, everyone knows what is headache, uh, but the Latin word itself could give you the meaning of the word because ek means pain, and this pain is in the head. So, if we have um, a simple diagram of the head. Okay. Like this. Uh, and this is a cranium, and we can the skin over there. Okay. Okay, so the headache, uh, many people think the headache is because they have um, something wrong with their brain or their brain has them. But actually, this is not right because the brain itself is not sensitive to pain at all. However, there are a lot of pain sensitive intracranial structures uh, which may cause uh, intracranial headache and on, uh, a lot of extracranial structures which may cause extracranial headache <clears throat> so uh, the headache is a referred pain and referred pain means it is referred from um, other structures to the skin of the head and those other structures may be, as we said, inside the cranium, and they will call the, this will give an intracranial intracranial headache. Okay, and if it is outside the cranium, it will cause. Okay. Mm, Thank you for me, it would cause extracranial headache. Extracranial. Okay, uh, so let's take in details the intracranial headache. The pain sensitive intracranial structures are the arteries, the veins, the nervous, the dura. Um, okay, arteries like. Um, the middle cerebral artery or the middle meningeal artery also this is very common the middle meningeal artery because uh, it is very sensitive to pain uh, also veins uh, as venous sinuses as um, superior sagittal sinus right here or the inferior sagittal sinus, or the straight sinus, or the transverse sinuses, right and left, and ETC. Uh, also nerves, we have nerves which um, are very sensitive to pain, uh, especially the trigeminal, um, uh, glossopharyngeal, and facial nerve. Also the dura uh, at the base of the brain and the tinturium. Uh, actually, most of intracranial causes because uh, something wrong with the dura. Okay, so uh, the intracranial headache um, because a rotation to one of these intracranial pain sensitive structures, especially the dura. So causes of intracranial headache okay um, of course the most common one is meningeal irritation so meningeal irritation and meningeal irritation um, may be because a lot of things like meningitis or uh, brain tumor, okay, because if you have a tumor in the brain, 
it would cause an um, increase in the size and of course pushing against the dura uh, and the meninges which uh, are covering the brain and they are pain sensitive and this will give a um, headache okay uh, so brain tumors operative trauma uh, all of these will cause a rotation to uh, of meninges and attraction of them uh, another reason or cause is of course the, the alcohol okay alcohol because alcohol contains um, toxin substances which will, which will um, produce toxic meningeal irritation another reason is uh, constipation and this is because uh, headache due, uh, gives headache due to absorption of toxins from the rectum um, and this will uh, be in the blood vessels until it reaches to the dura and causes dura irritation uh, but I want to talk about the low ESF pressure because actually this is very common so what happens in uh, what causes low CSF pressure is uh, lumbar puncture and lumbar puncture this is when we need to take a sample from the CSF so this is a brain stem okay and this is a spinal cord and Uh, sometimes we need to take a sample of the CSF so we do something called lumbar puncture okay um, and this lumbar puncture is uh, done at the level or below the level of L5 okay so we do lumbar puncture to take a CSF of course, this will decrease the size and the pressure of the CSF, which is around uh, the brain and inside the spinal cord. Uh, and this will cause um, the brain to descend. So the brain descent will cause traction of the dura, okay, will cause traction of the dura, and the cerebral blood vessels causes headache. Um, okay, another example is hypertension. Um, hypertension is a, a very common cause of intracranial headache um, because in hypertension uh, there is a marked expansion of cerebral blood vessels. Okay, so um, the vessels becomes from this size to this size. Okay, and this of course pushes against the dura uh, and other meninges causing meningeal irritation and causing intracranial headache so this is the intracranial headache what about the extracranial headache what are the causes of extracranial headache Okay, um, we can um, know the cause of extracranial headache from this simple diagram. Okay, so okay um, extracranial headache um, will be because one um, uh, it, it will be referred from something wrong with extracranial pain sensitive structures and there could be um, the head and neck some muscles of head and neck 
because muscular spasm of the scalp uh, and the neck muscles due to emotional tension will cause this extracranial headache. Um, another cause is the nose because um, any inflammation of the nasal sinuses um, will refer to the skin of the head and causes extracranial headache. Of course, the eye, um, any errors of refraction, um, because you're not wearing you're not wearing your glasses or uh, is uh, there's you have um, glaucoma. Okay, of course, this will cause extracranial headache. Um, also, the ear. I forgot to drill the ear. Okay, so uh, the ear. Um, if you have uh, otitis media uh, or external, this uh, may cause extracranial headache. Also, a very common cause is uh, the toothache because it will refer to the skin. Um, also, the systemic disorders. Okay, systemic disorders. And systemic disorders uh, uh, as anemia, okay, of course this is not inside the cream, so it is called extracranial headache, uh, anemia or CO poisoning, okay, CO poisoning. Um, and the final one is trigeminal. Okay, trigeminal neuroalgia, and this is also very common cause of extracranial headache. Um, and this is headache. And thank you for listening. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.